Hey guys! Since I moved out, I have embraced minimalism more, and I just want to share five tips with you that have helped me throughout the process. I am not to where I am in a complete minimalist yet because I still need to go through some of my stuff and simplify a little bit more of my life, but I'm going to share with you what I do and hopefully it'll help you out. I have been looking up minimalist blogs and reading about minimalism and just getting rid of stuff and kind of making your life happier without as much stuff. The very first thing I suggest, and this is the most important, is to throw away or donate things that you don't need. You can go through every item you own and this will take some time and can be a little overwhelming, but ask the question, does this have purpose? Does this have meaning? And when you kind of think of items that way, if you need them, like to cook, or you need clothing, stuff like that, it kind of narrows down things you actually do need in your life. And you can have a throwaway box, a donate box, and a keep box. That's kind of what I did, and it helps you narrow down your clutter a lot. Number two is to stay organized. Since I just moved, this was really, really easy for me to have a place for everything really, really helps. Say you put your purse the same place every day, your computer the same place every day, say you have um, places for things in your kitchen and you kind of know where everything is, that way your life's not, you know, completely unorganized and when you come home you know where things are and you're kind of collected and it calms you down a little bit. This also helps with having more time to do things because when you're more organized you have a less chance of losing things and more time to go enjoy life and go do activities. Number three is to reduce clutter and this kind of goes with stay organized but one thing that I really really suggest is to keep a box of receipts bills and important papers because these can stack up especially if you don't go paperless and you sometimes need these papers like tax papers something like that because you're supposed to keep them for so long or if you have a loan or some kind of payment that you're keeping up on and you want to keep records of it I actually keep a box. So this box I believe is from Michaels. My mom um, got it for me a long time ago. I think they still have boxes like this but I'm not going to open it up because it has a ton of private information, but I keep a lot of my medical stuff in here. If I go to the doctor and I get, you know, a test back or your results, I keep um, my car payment stuff in here. I keep old school papers, like when I was accepted into my school or um, just papers that I feel like I may need later on. I don't keep a ton because this is the, like, important file holder. I probably will get a file cabinet when I'm a bit older, but I don't have that much. But this is just stuff like employee handbooks and if you have any credit cards, stuff like that. This is a great thing to have because it will organize your clutter on your desk or on, you know, your kitchen cabinet and you can just store it away in one of these. Four is to go through things every month or so and since I just moved out, I was really careful with what I placed where because I was asking myself, do I need this? Do I want this? And I've kind of set up areas in my room to be simple and so I can find things easily. You just want it to be so you're relaxed with your space and you understand your own space, like things aren't everywhere. I just have places for everything. For example, I will show you my uh, beauty area. It is just simple and that is basically what I need. I don't have a huge makeup collection because I don't believe in spending a lot of money on that and having it expire and then, you know, it's taking up a lot of room in your room. So I just suggest just being more simple and just getting what you believe you need and don't go overboard, which can be hard sometimes. Number five was probably the most hardest for me and I am still kind of struggling with it a little bit, but that is do not keep up with the norm or keeping up with the Joneses, as some people call it. This means that you need to kind of reevaluate what you need in your life and what is important to you. Don't compare it to Sally who has, you know, two new iPhones and an iPad and just went shopping at the mall and spent $200 because you might feel like you need more items when people get new things around you or somebody has a certain item. You just need to remember that those are just items and you can't buy experiences so you need to just kind of see like do I want this new dress, do I want to go on this trip, or do I just want to 
chill and watch Netflix, you know? You just kind of do what's best for you. I honestly think in high school this is harder to not do the keeping up with the Joneses thing, especially with clothing or um, material items because you're always kind of striving to sort of impress everybody in your high school. If it was like my high school, I'm not sure if that's the same nowadays. But once you get into college, and I feel like once you get a little bit older, it's not as bad unless you're like comparing cars and houses and stuff like that. But um, it's gotten easier for me. I've just remembered what I need. My worst habit still is clothing. I like hoard clothing. That is probably the one thing. I can even show a shot of my closet, but that's the one thing I struggle with because I am kind of on this minimalist journey and I don't know how to like get rid of some of my clothes. I've read a lot of blogs on different um, ways to kind of store clothes so you don't have too much and you don't buy too much but I have always been a big clothes shopper so that has been one issue with me. But yes, just try to do your own thing. Don't buy what somebody else buys unless it's really cool and you really really want it and it does have purpose in your life. Go ahead and do that because you always need to treat yourself. So in the category of minimalism I would say I'm the lowest, you know, number one trying to sift through stuff and get organized. I am a pretty organized person but I did realize that I had a lot more stuff than I really needed especially moving out alone. I didn't need all of the stuff I had gathered from my parents house. I don't think I'll go completely minimalistic to where you know the walls are bare and it's white everywhere because I like decorating and I like it feeling homey and I also just like cool things so I know if you're a complete minimalist you don't hardly have anything you just have basically the things that you absolutely need but I like a little bit of decoration and a little bit of lights and stuff like that so I don't think I'll go fully minimalistic but if you guys do want more minimalistic type videos I can kind of show you my journey of me going through some stuff and organizing things if you're into that kind of thing and I know a lot of people are going uh, minimalistic or they want to go minimalistic so I will put a few blogs and a few tips down in the bottom bar and if you would like to subscribe feel free to subscribe to this channel I make new videos every week and I'll see you all later bye